again, my name is Gabe Zoll, and this is the 8th of March, 2019. Just read a rather depressing article on people. And this was put up by Robin Merritt, M-E-R-R-E-T-T, -T, published on People. Title, Gifted College Student 21, Killed by Flying Tires, An Accident During Spring Break Road Trip. You see a photograph of this deceased young girl. A young Tulane University student was tragically killed in a freak accident while at a restaurant in Mississippi. On Tuesday, 21-year-old Margaret Maurer from Forest Lake, Minnesota was taking a restroom break during her spring break road trip with friends when she was suddenly struck by a pair of flying tires that came loose from a passing 18-wheeler, Biloxi's son Harold reported. Maurer was walking back to her car when the tires, which were bolted together and weighed roughly 500 pounds, entered the parking lot area of Interstate 10, eastbound near Gutier. The tires traveled about 850 feet before hitting her, according to the Gutier Police Department, ABC News reported. She was pronounced dead at the scene. No one else was injured. Quote, it's traumatizing, of course, for the young ladies that were there and the families, Captain Casey Baxter of the Gautier Police Department told ABC News. It's heartbreaking for everybody. She was truly a victim. It is not immediately clear as to how the tires broke free from the trailer. Following the incident, the truck driver who has been identified as a driver for Dana Transport, Inc. turned around to see what happened, police said. They suspect no wrongdoing on the driver's part, the Sun Herald reported. Well, I guess they got to take a close look at the maintenance record of that vehicle owned by Dana Transport. I mean, how often does this happen? Not all that often. I think a thorough investigation needs to take place and uh, her family needs to be compensated for her loss. Maurer, a senior at Tulane, where she studied ecology and evolutionary biology, Tulane's president, Mike Fitz, spoke out on Margaret's tragic death, describing her as an extraordinary gifted student and a leader among her peers, adding, she was planning to graduate in May to pursue a career in scientific illustration, a field that combined her skills as a scientist, her incredible artistic talent, and her love of nature. Maoist professor Thomas Sherry paid tribute to the late student, calling her a go-getter. In addition to getting to know Maurer academically, Sherry bonded with her on an artistic level as Maurer drew illustrations for his independent book, Project on Birds. They're just spectacular. They're beautiful, Sherry told ABC News. At the very least, we have this incredible memorial to her, and I hope to use it in various ways to shine a light on what an outstanding student she was. Sherry added she was a really special person, so it's all the more painful. I don't get to know every student as well as I do, Meg. Maurer's mother, Tracy Nelson Maurer, also opened up about her daughter's death, telling KSDP, quote, I really want to be angry at somebody, but I can't be. It just happened. It's absolutely a random, freaky thing. It's not right. There's so much wrong about all of this, but it's just random. Like I said, they need to take a close look at the maintenance records of that tractor trailer. Don't know how often things like this happen. I have heard of tires coming loose, a tire coming loose, but I've never heard of bogeys, both of them coming loose. Hopefully they'll find out what caused that to occur and make certain it doesn't happen again. And again, the trailer company, their insurance should look after the losses. That's sort of what I think. I'll attach the link. Take a look at the photograph of this incredibly beautiful young girl who is now no longer with us.
thanks for listening. What this really dramatizes is enjoy what you have. There's no guarantee it'll be it tomorrow.